This poem is called Wound. It was commissioned by the UCD Poetry as Commemoration Project. But these are the women we loved. Even Boland from the historians. The wind-swept hills of Castle Comer were once a sanctuary. Now the local miner's teen daughter coats her palate in liquor stolen from the tan sparks. She gathers coal, conjures yellow light, scrapes phosphorus palms against the hearthstone, and magics a pair of plump steaks. Flames leap out to lick the juices, garnish with rosemary, and with a teaspoon of honey, seal the wound. Maid servant, she knows the sting verbatim, her fingers sweet meat strips, for the men of the Comer colliery, out haunting a dozen of her father's former friends, dreaming only of hunger. Drag the last witch of Kilkenny down to the valley where the river dining waits with her mouth open. I bring nothing with me. They start on my delicious hands, save my head for last. A girl's hair is her crowning glory. There is freedom in the iron teeth. Sharing, scalp tenderized with blunt blades, a clumsy badge of dishonor. Each shorn curl snatched from its follicle. I know the sting verbatim. A girl with a weak heart would have died with the shock. There is freedom in the undoing. I am the slippery water, drifting past the withered reeds. Observe, south of the river Liffey, ghosts trapped in the little whitewashed room of the hall at Kilmainham. A guarded flame stutters in the early nights of May 1916. A seance of fiending wives, sisters keeping vigil tasked with, with the accumulated burden, bidding farewell to their dwindling commune of condemned rebels, shutting the steel gates against grief's broken brow, facing the enemy on all sides. <laughs>